You know, here we are at Pearl Harbor, and you're with the United States Army. What is the connection? Well, Lila, first of all, uh, on behalf of Major General Joe Ryan, the Commanding General of the 25th Infantry Division, thanks for the opportunity to come here today and just talk a little bit about the Tropic Lightning Division. But to your specific question, you know, this year marks the 80th birthday of the 25th Infantry Division, which was formed on Schofield Barracks October 1st, 1941 forged somewhat under fire, given that just two short months later, the island of Oahu was attacked here at Pearl Harbor and up at Schofield Barracks on December 7th. So it's pretty special that you're there. It's the only division I've been in that's still at the location it was formed. And the only time that the 25th Infantry Division has left the island of Oahu has been to go fight our nation's wars, whether that was in Vietnam, Korea, Iraq, or Afghanistan. You know, there's a public perception in Hawaii that the military is separate from who we are. That's not your perspective. No, ab absolutely not. We have a, many of our soldiers and families live on military installations, but many do not. And they live out within the communities. And we see ourselves as stewards of the community, just like, like anybody else. Uh, we have a whole host of community outreach programs that we do from adopt a highway to adopt schools, coastal cleanups. And so we really do want to be proud partners of the community. And what is your specific role? I'm the chief of staff of the 25th Infantry Division and U.S. Army Hawaii. In that role, my job is to help manage the training and operations of the division and help manage the U.S. Army installations on Oahu and Hawaii. So when you say manage, what does that mean? Well, for example, so, so right now we have a large joint multinational training exercise underway here on Oahu and the Hawaii Island. And it's about 6,000 U.S. service members from across the joint force, across the United States. We also have some multinational partners to include Thailand and Indonesia that are here to do training with the 25th Infantry Division in a jungle environment. It's a little uncomfortable sometimes for local people to think that the U.S. military is here because we might go to war and then Hawaii will be basically a sitting duck. Um, the purpose of the military here is, is a lot broader than that. Our traditional role in the 25th ha has been and will continue to be to be the, the guardians of the Pacific. And, and as one of the major land forces here focused in the Pacific, that's what we do. And we, we do that really through three ways. One, we assure our partners and allies of our commitment. We deter our competitors. And then if required, as you highlighted, we'll be ready to fight and win our nation's wars. And what you'll see is that we throughout a year do a host of exercises. About half of the division, about 6,000 soldiers every year travel throughout the Indo-Pacific region doing exercises. They come from all over the, the U.S. continent to be stationed here. That's right. So I just came from Fort Carson, Colorado. I've been here for about 60 days, but that's right. So we come from all over the United States to the island of Oahu. Our boss, Major General Joe Ryan, he meets with every one of our uh, new soldiers every week. And what he does is he highlights the most important thing that we do is receive and integrate our soldiers. And part of that is making sure that they're aware of, that we're aware of, the rich cultural heritage and history of the island. What do you foresee in the future as the role of the U.S. military in Hawaii? And given our history as well as given your mission? I think it will continue to be the same role that we had when we were formed, which is, is to do everything in our abilities to maintain a free and open Indo-Pacific region for the five largest economies, seven of the 10 largest militaries are within the Indo-Pacific region. And so it's important for our welfare to maintain a, a free and open region. And to protect Hawaii. And to protect Hawaii <laughs> and all of our homelands. A message you might want to share with our public. You know, as somebody that just got here, you know, thank you for a very warm and welcome reception to the island. We really do want to be active uh, stewards uh, of, of the community. We, our kids go to the same schools. Um, our spouses work within the broader community. And so, you know, thank you. Thank you for all that, that uh, you do to support the military. And I'm sure you'd like to say to, to us also that we should say hello to you when we see you. Uh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> if you see us in, in the, uh, down on the beaches on the North Shore or, or in the supermarkets, please, please say hi. And we would love to, to get to know you. Well, we appreciate your openness and, you know, you've really 
shared with us that you are part of the community and that your willingness to be here is by choice. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having me today. You've just had the opportunity to meet Colonel Scott Galloway, Chief of Staff with the 25th Infantry Division.